Sean Ollins looking as sprightly as ever. He's inducted into Forever Arms Club. Next, please give a warm loft to show welcome back to a man who made his debut back in 1960. He went on to score 13 goals in 70 appearances. Put your hands together for Mike Barber. Okay, please show your appreciation to our 1982 FA Cup final captain, the key part of the team who won the second division the following year as well. Put your hands together for Glenn Roda. Mike Barber, hey, Mike Barber, I remember him as a little boy. Mike Barber. Oh, on people. Saturday we were trying to count how many people were missing. Yeah, all the ones that were here, yeah, yeah. On the pitch here at Loftus Road. Then we'll catch up with John Hollins as well in a moment. Great stuff. And John Ollins, if I can just catch a word with you, John. We'll just have a quick word, John. How pleasing is it to see this ex-players association set up? We caught up with Mark Bertram on Saturday. He was pleased to see it get off the ground. He said it was something the club needed to do and it has done it. I think, it, I think it's, it's fantastic what they've done. And I think because we have so many good friends, good teams, good players, and we just, you know, Every time we come here, I mean, I've been non-stop telling him what, he's, what he did wrong. <laughs> and then he told me what a crap manager I was, so it works out, doesn't it? <laughs> and it is great to, as you say, catch up with former teammates and just players who played in the blue and white hoops. Brilliant, yes, I think. Um, I've been here quite a few times, playing here as well. It, it was such a fantastic atmosphere. There's like 30,000 people in here, ripped in here and that used to be the best thing that we could do. That was our 12th man on the pitch, and we had some very good players on the pitch as well. So, uh, I, I just say, I would love it, and it's most clubs now are doing, doing it and bringing back people, and they are remembered really well in, 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 good, talk, in good thoughts. And you can see with these supporters, they like to have the opportunity to show you guys how much they appreciated your efforts when you were playing in the Blue and White Oaks of QPR. Well, I used to give them most of the ball up in the wing there, because that was my shots over there and over there. But no, it's, it's, it's fantastic. And seeing people, as I was walking in down from the station, uh, meeting people, chatting people, they remember what, what QPR was like and now is like, and it's, it's got a great chance of being built on it. Like all clubs, QPR is trying to build for the future, but it's important the club doesn't forget its past, its history, and what made QPR the club it is today. That is true, um, you know, we, well, we were getting older and older, and the stories get the same, but, uh, you know, no, you need to be a club where everybody wants to come back and only speak well of the club that, uh, that it is. Great stuff, thanks very much. Loftus Road, show your appreciation once again for the newest members of the Forever Arts Club, John Hollins, Mike Barber and Glenn Roder.